Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Red Five Rips. I'm Brandon, and I'm here with my buddy Ken, who many of y'all know uh, if you've watched my videos in the past. He has joined me many a times. We've ripped lots of racing and baseball, and I like Red Five Rips, but I think Rogue One Rips would be cool too. Rogue One, huh? You like you like that movie better? It was much better than The Last Jedi and uh, Rise of Skywalker. Well, yeah, nobody's gonna. Nobody's going to argue with that Because, <laughs> damn, was it Ryan Johnson? Ryan Johnson did. Shame on Ryan Johnson. Well, we're, all, we're starting out with a, some Star Wars talk. Huh? Shame you know on him. Well, it is Red Fiber. Well, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Maybe we should have a... So, 1993. 1993 Upper Deck. We are looking for the Jeter. The Jeter. And all the Hall of Famers. And there may be some inserts in this too. So. Yep. Uh, we are brought to you by Sprint PCS. We always do a sponsor, and unofficially, of course. They do not endorse this, but um, anyway, that is uh, that is the commemorative Adam Petty signature uh, hero card from um, from uh, Petty Enterprises. So anyway, cool. It was an autograph card that Ken bought today, or not a card, but I guess a picture. And we bought today at a uh, that he bought today at a antique. Place. Anyway, all right, let's get started. Um, and a shout out to Culture Collision. Yep, uh, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yep, we, uh, we went there this, this afternoon, or I'm sorry, not this afternoon, this weekend, and had a great time. Spent, spent a little bit of money, bought some, let's see if these are brick. Here's going to be the end. A lot, there, a lot, a lot of people at Culture Collision. A lot of people at Culture Collision. It was, uh, it was uh, hopping. Yep. No or, bricking so far. Well, it's I'm getting a little bricking, getting a little bit. I had see. none in this one. Well, that's good. I'll so take we're it. Good. So I'm just gonna rip a bunch here. Just rip a bunch. Do a super rip. Right. We got Billy Ripken doing his yeah. thing with the Rangers. He's Not only good. famous for one thing. Well, we know. We all know what he's famous for. There's his there's his brother Cal. Yeah. Let's put old Cal up on. You know what? I'm gonna take these packs away. Everybody now sees. That we actually do have the packs, so let's get them off the screen. Okay, so now we can do a little bit more. All right, so we got John Burke and Benji Gill. I believe Benji Gill was kind of a big deal back in the day. Not so much anymore. Is this going to be the turn one way, turn another way? Yep. Yep, like the upper deck. Yep. All right. But anyway, everybody knows what we're looking for. Looking for some some Jeter. Hoping for the best. All right. Nobody good so far. You're going to have to get a little bit closer. There it is. Kurt Gibson. Jeff Cohn. Kevin Mitchell. Well, you know what? I'm going to put as a bonus on the end of this video michael tucker i'll come back to that michael tucker the guy who hit the first home run in turner field for the braves back in 1996 or seven i guess we like trivia trivia yeah yeah here's a willie mays insert are you ready i'm ready boom boom that's pretty there's a the hologram of nice willie mays sharp yeah good condition yep Put it right there. Ooh, so nice. it's sort of sideways. I was thinking maybe the camera would see it if it was side. Nope. Yeah, you can see it. You see it a little bit. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, that works. All right. And we have a Jose Offerman inside the numbers. You know, I'll, I'll take it down there. Yeah, just throw it down there. Um, this is a cool card. Okay. I got Barry Bonds. Yeah, uh, you got Clark Bonds. Bonds. And Matt Williams, but all, right. all great guys. So I'm going to put them on the stand. All great guys. Okay. Uh, okay. I think Will Clark should be in the Hall of Fame, personally. Well, I was laughing at Barry Bonds, but okay. What's wrong with him? You don't think he's a great guy? I don't know. I don't. I, I always heard that. I don't think teammates really enjoyed playing with him. Well, uh, when you, I, when, when somebody heard. makes you look bad on the field, maybe you just don't like them. You're jealous. So there's the Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson insert That's clutch, cool. clutch performer card. 
I'm putting Andre Dawson. This is him with the Red Sox, uh, close to retirement. Mm -hmm. I think he went to the Marlins just after this, and he coached with the Marlins for a little while. He is now a mortician, a funeral director from Florida, from what I understand. Probably has one of the most beautiful autographs. Um, we have one around. around. Here. I don't. I don't have one I can get my hands on right away. But There's a bow. Always bow. Bow. Bow's going up in value. Yeah. Bow new. Yeah. From what I heard. Oh my goodness. What's the deal? There we go. Oh, I see. This thing is crooked. Now, Mark Grace, I think would have. Uh, he has the most hits of the '90s of any player in Major League Baseball. That's a feat in itself. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, say '80s. I was thinking. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna put him down front here. Top prospect, Calvin Murray. I don't think he panned out, did he? No. I think this guy panned out though. Greg Maddox. So you do, what about Jason Beret? No. Jeff Parrott. Got an Eckers Lee's autograph recently, didn't he? Yeah, I did. I got it in the mail to Nicole days ago. So tell tell everybody what you're doing with all these autographs. You're, you're well, um, I, I wanted to do something with autographs as far as like collecting, and so I decided I want to have one autograph of every Hall of Famer since 1980. So I'm on the search for for those autographs. So we'll see if I can. How long it's going to take me to do that? There'll be a few that are relatively cheap. Some of them are be kind of expensive. Hojo Johnson. Hojo Johnson. I mean, I know who it is. But, okay. He deserves to be. He does, does he? At least on the. Uh, then if he deserves it, then Mike Hampton does too. Then. No. Well, Mike Hampton. Everybody write in thing. to Red Five Rips <laughs> and let it, let let our esteemed colleague here know the difference between Howard Johnson and Mike Hampton. Yes. All right. There's a Barry Larkin, Reggie Jackson insert card. Well. Um, we did rip open a box of 91 upper deck uh, yesterday, and we did we didn't film it because we just didn't feel like filming. You got bonds. Yeah, most valuable player, all right. But um, fine mustache going on. It is a very fine mustache. But so we we did get the Jordan card out of the 91 upper deck. So that was exciting. First right. time I've ever pulled that. We have a Ryan Sandberg checklist. Mm. Well, you know you can you know you can keep that. I'm gonna put that on the honorable mention back here. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Hojo off the screen. Really? <laughs> That's just sad. We'll put we'll put a bow on top of the bow, bow there. Okay. Double bows. Okay. Bobby Thick pin. Oh, I was going to say that as a bonus on the end of this video, we have, we are, we're going to have Ken's pursuit of an elite card from early 90s Donruss. He has been looking for an elite card, especially the Ryan Sandberg autograph card from Elite Series, Signature Series, I believe it is. And um, yeah, just uh, stay tuned or fast forward if you don't care about this, if you want to see if Ken finally pulls an elite card and which one. He potentially gets <laughs> John Crook, Darren Dalton, Lenny Dykstra. One fun fact about John Crook, he's from West Virginia. Well, isn't that nice? I don't know if I like people from West Virginia. Uh, Who else do you know? We're a little bit better than everybody else. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> JT Snow. J.T. Snow would have been a big deal yeah. back in the day. Yeah, that? I know. That's uh, Felix Jose, right? Felix yeah. Jose. Yeah, lots of lots of junk before we get to Jeter. We have not seen a Jeter. There's a Tim Raines. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. I'll put him next to Mark Grace. Grace in the halfway mark. Nah, we're not. I got a bunch of packs up here. Eric Loss. We're the third. We're the third mark. I'd say. All right. A little bit of stick in there. Yeah, they're they're a little bit sick, but they're not 
they don't have any damage, it doesn't seem like. We had double Tom Boltons. I mean, double. As long as, it, what if it was Michael Bolton? Well, Kirby Puckett? Future Heroes. Really? Future? I think he was pretty much. That's a cool card, though. Gold signature. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put nice. Kirby. Robin Young. We'll put, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll put. Over Maddox? Uh, well, moving then. I didn't no, it's all good. Rod, Rod Bolton Diamond Debuts. All right. We are striking out here. Will the Thrill. Put him down the front. Charles Jones, we got a checklist. And who's on it? Andre Peter Dawson. Kingman. Andre Dawson with the socks. Yeah. Mike Hampton again. We got Roberto Alomar. Oh, there's the triple. The patented upper deck triple. Uh, what is it? What is so, it? who got it this Hologram? year? Hologram. What name? Phil was Phil Hyatt. They struck out with that one. Yeah, I'm going to. Always. It was Dawson before. It was Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, Nolan Ryan. Yep. And was one other? I don't know if it. I can't remember another one or not. But regardless. I'm not sure what Randy Myers is doing back here, but it <laughs> could be a prostate exam. It could, anyway, <laughs> never mind. Um. Randy Myers is a good closer. He was. Right, you haven't missed a Jeter, right? Are we still looking for Jeters? Are you pulling go. strawberries? You can have them if you want. Kind of a good looking card though. Okay. There's a Rockies checklist. David Mead, who was a big deal back in the day. Decent looking card. Uh, nothing to write home about. So far, no big hits. Charlie Huff, sorry, Charlie, we're gonna go over here and the. Who's on the checklist? Roger Clemens is on this checklist. Huh. Well, here's Phil Hyatt inside the numbers. I don't even know who Phil Hyatt was. Was he supposed to be like a, a big deal? Right there, just Frank. Big hurt. Big hurt. With his autograph in the top right. Yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 yeah. Put, I'll put him right there. Yeah. Somebody's going to be upset that he's over Robin Yount. But... No, I don't know many people that would argue that Robin Yount was better than the Big Hurt. Okay. Okay. Raphael Palmer. Here's the bull. That... Would you like a Manny Ramirez rookie? Yeah, yeah, you can keep that for sure. All right. Well, we're Put gonna... him right there in the Giants. What about Jeff Back Backwell? Oh well, yeah, of course. Winners. And then you have a fine Greg Maddox here. Award so winner. Award winner. This was it. That was maybe his last card with the Cubs. I'll put him over the Hawk. Gotta love upper deck putting them cards all inside out, backwards, upside down. Just fun to rip. There we go. And of course, of course. It has. It's got a print one. No, it's just got a bad dinged up corner. Oh, let me see. I mean, well, you know, maybe, it there's could, a, maybe there's another one. It couldn't be the John Candelera right before it. That didn't have anything wrong with it. Issue, issue. Anyway, top prospect. There, Peter up a bit. So there we go. And yes, you're right. Maybe there's another one. Could be. We're only half You know what else we had to pull? Griffey. Yeah. Well, is he in Series 2? He might have been Series 1. Well, we have Series 1. Did we not pull any Griffey's? I can't remember. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got Hal Morris. Roberto Kelly. Paul Wagner. Cool David Wells. King Griffey Jr.'s um, checklist. checklist. <laughs> I'm not going to keep that. Inside the number, Dane Hollins, Tyrone Hill, Carlos Delgado. I mean, that would have been a hot card potentially back in the day, but not so much. Here. They didn't put Kirby. They put Shane Mack. 
Sweet Jesus. All right. Shane Mack was a decent ball player for his day. Not better than Kirby, but. No. Do you want the triple? No, no. Jake shaking? Yeah. All right. Oh, now you like that. That's, that's cool. Here, that's yours. That, we'll, we'll put it. Yeah, we'll put it. We'll put it down here with these guys. Yep. All right. Okay. Come on, Jita. Jita times two. Ellis Burks. I go with. Oh, here we go. Here's a then and now. This will be a cool one. Oh, and we got another cool one right behind it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at Dennis Eggersley. Man, he's got the uh, waterfall going on there, doesn't he? Dude, he is part. He is party in the back. I've never seen that one. And then right behind him, we had a Chipper Jones, a really young Chipper Jones card. Not his rookie, but really nice anyway. And two Jose Oliva cards. I believe Jose Oliva hit a home run in his very first at bat with the Braves. I remember it. I was watching it back in 1993 or whenever, 92 maybe, 93. Of course. It was always Kenny Rogers, but now they've shortened it to Ken Rogers. Ken Rogers. Rogers. Yeah. Now that's Ken Ryan. Is it Ryan? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't see You're it. right, though. There was a Kenny Rogers. I need my glasses on. That's all right. Well, you have them somewhere. Yeah, I do. All right. Got a Juan gone. Is it a Sandberg checklist? That's cool with the Puerto Rican flag behind, I yeah, believe. That's right? That's what that is. We're having fun with flags. Like um, Big Bang Theory, shout out, Sheldon. Was it Guzman? He was a. Do you collect Alan Trammell? I don't collect Alan Trammell. Mm. Here's a David Justice signing autographs. He was a big deal back in the day. I love David Justice. Don't let him fool you. You should hear him. <laughs> I collect. I will hold pull back David Justice, but uh, not so much your fellow Atlantean here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like David Justice. He was one of my favorite back in the day. We have a world championship because of him hitting a home run in game six of the 95 World Series. But as a card collector, his, they haven't held, held, held value. I'm just looking at it as a strictly business. He wasn't one that I collect. I'm sorry. That's cool. Nice pirate. Yar. Nice pirate. Lonnie Smith and the Braves potentially could have another world championship if Lonnie there Smith would learn how to run. There's a good one. Pull that with up. a yeah, with the little gold signature in the top. Yeah. Nice. Why don't you just leave that up there? That's a pretty yeah. good looking card. Yeah. Take that. Um anyway, Lonnie Smith. Go back and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go Google it. And you'll find out what happened with Lonnie Smith and learning how to run the bases in the Metrodome, I believe. Is that what they were called? The Twin Stadium back in the day? Here well, we go. Nice. And then and now. Tony Gwynn. Hollow. We're getting some hollows. Well, um, Ray Lankford. Harold Baines is in the Hall of Fame. He is in the Hall of Fame. But we also believe that people like Dale Murphy, yep. Will Clark, yep. Don Mattingly, Mattingly. Mattingly yeah. maybe, maybe should get some consideration too. Agreed. If Harold Baines can make it, then there's a lot of people who can make it. No, nothing against Harold Baines. He's a fine-looking guy. Well, what do you? What, let's let's look. You know, you let's know, look at his numbers. It's not all about the home runs. He he's got 241. Um, Look at his stolen base. Did he did he steal some bases? His, he was below three hundred lifetime batting average. Well, that's what what's his batting average? Two eighty two eighty six. Then that's good. Well, yeah, but you know, but the home run mixed with was, yeah, it, that's a low amount of home runs. Yeah, stolen bases. Well, he did have a thousand. Really? Well, no, those are strikeouts. I'm sorry. That's right. That's why this guy's in the Hall of Fame. Is one thousand. 17 strikeouts, and he hadn't retired in 1982. Well, a thousand sure. strikeouts isn't that. I mean, people strike out 100, 150 times nowadays, easily. 
So, I mean, that's actually, you well, know. We can, we can, uh, let's compare. We should compare. Let's find somebody that's on the twilight of their career. Let, yeah, so we take the Hawk here. Here, no, Dave Winfield. He played a lot. He has 1,500 strikeouts over his career. Right. What's out that? of 20, 19 years. 19 years. So we averaged a little less than 100. Shane Mack, right? Shane Mack. So, I mean, you know, I'm just saying that's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm curious about guys these days. All right. Another one more Jitas. That's your nice McGuire. Jim Abbott. Mark Newfeld. I think he was a he was somewhat of a big deal back then. So, yeah, I like it. it. Has that little gold signature. All right, well I'm down to my last pack. Here I'm going to steal some. I'm of a little packs. slower than you are. Yeah, well that's all right. You like to lay back, relax, and enjoy your time. Mm -hmm. All right, here's your Jeter. So go ahead and nice. Flip that over. You got two in here. All right, I'm gonna get this sleeve ready. We're gonna fit it right in it. Boop. Oh, it's upside down. I already see a problem with it. You want your patless lip stash? No. So look at this. So we got a little ding in the top. A ding right there. You can blame that on the card opener, maybe. No. no you didn't do that. Other than that, man, that's a sharp looking card. If it wasn't for that, I don't think you can see it on this on this camera. But anyway. All right, so we got two in a box. And we got no chances. We got seven, eight more packs to go. But these upper deck, they're a little bit hard. They, they got some uh, paper loss sometimes. So let's see here. Charlie Lee Brent, 131 in wins over his 13 year career. Get him, Charlie. Gene Larkin. That's a fielder. You think he slid a bunch? Uh, I don't think he stole a lot of bases. Uh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. that might be sliding into first. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't take away from his hitting. Right there's a nice chipper. Flip back All around. right. Well, that's well. This is just the the Pat Peter Gammons card. But that's cool. That's a nice looking. And then we have a bunch of expos. I'm assuming we're wow. Larry Walker. That's actually. Dennis Martinez, Marquise Grissom, and the Shields. Well, we got some Rockies here. We got David Mead, the Cat, Andres Galarraga, and Dante Bichette. So we were talking about the Hall of Fame earlier. Mm. And who got in this year? Well, we got um, Joe Maurer. We got Andre Adrian Beltre, I believe was who it was. Um, and then... I can't remember the third. I think that was the third person. Well, I know that, again, we're talking about who's, oh, in we and, who's in and who didn't get in. Ken Griffey Jr. That's not Reggie Jackson insert. Um, Billy Wagner did not get in. Well, he was five votes short, I believe. Well. So he'll get in next year. He's got one more year. And then Andrew Jones is right behind him in the 60s. Of, um, so he has a good chance next year. With like three years remaining. This is a cool card, you know. I'm not a Cardinals fan, but it is a cool Ozzie, card. Ozzy, Bernard, hold on, let's see if I can do it. Hold on, let's see okay, if I can do it. see if you can name them. We got Bernard Gilkey, probably, I think. Uh, Ozzy Smith. Um, oh, God. They look familiar. Uh, Bernard. Geronimo Pena, that's right. And Ray Langford, yep. Oh, I got two of them. I got, I was I bad at 50%. <laughs> or 500 There's the big cat. Let's see how many homers he had at this time in his career. Eight years. And he only had, well, he had 116 home runs. Not too, not too bad. He had a broken bat on that. He was a big piece of the Braves for a few years. Here's a Manny Ramirez rookie card. Definitely keep that. Troy Percival. All right, I got two more packs. You got, you're on your second to last pack as well. Mm -hmm. Hoping to get a little bit more. You got a good card coming up here. 
you might give it to me if I'm yep. nice. Yep. You got to be able to name all of them, though. Oh, well, let's see here. We've got Mark Grace, Ron Sandberg. Is that Randy Myers? Yeah. Let's see. How did I do? Oh, about a thousand on that one. <laughs> I'm just plugging away over here. Not uh, nothing to write home about. Sending out get well wishes to Sam Burke and his recent diagnosis. Yeah, definitely want him to heal up if he can. But I hear it's a bad a bad prognosis, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't pick to have it. That's for sure. Okay, last pack for both of us. I'm going to stick around for, I'll add Ken's attempt at an Elite Series card. Which I'm 0 for two cases. Yep. Okay. And we have a nice Eddie, Expos. Eddie Murray. Now, Eddie Murray. Bobby Bonilla mm -hmm. and Howard Johnson. That's right. The guy that you didn't think was very good. That guy's the guy that has the best, the best, best contract, <laughs> best contract in baseball, and probably the person that has the most, well, a very long career. I, you're talking about yeah. uh, staying power there. So yep, Carlos Delgado, David Justice. Here comes the Pirates and the Pirates. We got John Wetland. No. Andy Van Slyke, Van Slyke and Mike, or not, Bell? I think it would name? be Bell. Bell? Is I that his last name? Bell, yeah. Why does that not sound right? Derek Bell? No, no J. Bell. J. Bell, yeah, yeah. that's right. Look at us, pulling, that, pulling those names out of our, really way far back in our brains. Well, I had the Mark McGuire there, I didn't pull over. All right, well, well, that's it, folks. Stay tuned for Ken's attempt at an elite card. Hope you enjoyed that. We got two Jeters out of this box. So this is about what you can expect uh, if you are interested in buying this Series 2 Upper Deck box. Hope you enjoyed it. Ken, you want to send us out? Well, stay tuned. We got a fire sale coming up on the yeah. next video. Yeah, we're going to have more videos coming up. Thanks. Okay, well, we are here opening up some 1993 Donruss, and Ken... Got a lot of trash. Ken has opened up probably cases of Donruss. Looking for what, Ken? Elite cards. Elite cards. And, and guess who has never pulled after pulling all of these boxes? This guy. Never have pulled Who an has elite pulled card. an elite card out of a single pack? Yes. Me. That's right. Anyway, we think we have something here. So we're going to go through. We haven't searched this. We just pulled We just it saw out. the back. Yeah, we oh. saw that it sort of it was a different color, and we think it might be an elite. So anyway. we're, we're, we have four packs left. So yep. we're five from the bottom and still have no elite cards. We've opened three boxes of Don Russ today and one yesterday. Yeah, so here we go. Here we go, Chili Davis, Jeff Fry, David Cohn. Right, here it Ron is. Ron Darling. It is, it's an elite. <gasps> the legend, Robin Yunt, is it, a, is it a auto? Robin Yunt. Nice, dude, that's an awesome one. Heck yeah. Finally pulled some fire. There we go, your one elite card. That, so that's the legend series, so that's the even like the, in uh, you know, a Hall of Famer type card. Well, hey, there we go. Here, let's get it in the sleeve. Here we go. I'm going to let you do it. There we go. Heck yeah. Well, there we go, folks. That's how you pull an elite card. Right there. That's a beautiful card. You got to get through a lot of garbage to get to that. Yep. Well, there we go. So now you can never, ever say that you haven't pulled an elite At card. At least it wasn't Harold Baines. Yep, yep, yep. All right, well... Peace, everybody.